Hello guys! I am so happy to make this video because it's been a while. I've been in Sri Lanka for, I don't know, the whole month of December almost. And I think this is the first time you're going to see my home in Sri Lanka. It is not exactly my home. I'm currently living at my in-laws house, meaning Sanda's parents' house. And I will do a home tour, but I have to make a note here because it's not my house i cannot show you all the house so i'm just going to show you outside which is very nice uh, my father-in-law makes a great job in keeping this garden is very beautiful so i just wanted to clarify that i am saying in-laws in this video but sana and i are not married it's just that i didn't find the word in english to refer to his family so yeah that's why i use that word but don't be confused we are not married i will also show you my room which requires a lot of work <laughs> you will see you will see all of that and that is actually the reason why i haven't done any reactions yet it's been a little bit hard to adapt you have to consider that we were moving from thailand to here and we had so many things that we couldn't bring but even so with the things that we actually brought well, i have too many stuff <laughs> the room is pretty messy i am a mess <laughs> so my experience so far has been mainly positive of course i am very well aware of the economical situation in sri lanka which makes me kind of sad and i really wish and i hope that things get better with time even though most of the people i've talked to well they're not very hopeful but sri lankan people are so nice and kind and sweet i think they deserve to be in a good situation so besides that, I've been treated very well by my family-in-law. They, they are the sweetest, actually. Uh, I get along with them pretty well, especially my sister-in-law. She's the sweetest, and I hope someday we make a video together. I've been very well fed, so I haven't been able to diet properly not diet at all and Sanda's stepmom she cooks every day so there's plenty food available for us every day I cannot like complain about that their food is delicious and that's why I've been eating a lot we have been visiting friends and other family members and all of them are very sweet and kind and they have treated me very well also <laughs> giving us a lot of food it's incredible like in chile it's not like that at all like we don't we don't eat that much <laughs> i find it like really incredible we've also made some trips outside of our city to nuarelia yala ella and some people has recognized us that's so weird because my videos don't have that many visits so it is nice to know that some people watch my videos and I think actually I am not very recognizable. They recognize Sanda more than me. It is a little bit sad, but it's also nice. It's also nice that people recognize you and say hi to you. I don't know. I like it. During these trips, I've been able to get to know Sanda's family more. They don't speak that much English, so it is always hard to communicate. And I am a very particular person as well. So it has been a very interesting experience and I am very happy that I am getting to know them. And they're very sweet. And the best thing is that they accept me how I am. I'm not an easy person to be around, but they kind of accept me with that. And Sanda is also like that. I mean, I guess it's a family thing. Sanda is very easygoing. So, well, that's why I'm like with him. So I'm going to show you guys my room here in Sri Lanka. I haven't been able to record many videos because I'm adapting to this change. You have to consider that we were living in a big house, just the two of us, and we tried to move all our things. We couldn't, but even so, we have so many things that, well, they don't fit in, in this room. This was Sanda's old room. It needs a lot of repairs and it has not been habitated for a long time so yeah i'm going to show you what a disaster a room is like i made such a mess so well this is my desk it is uh very messy my camera the camera i used to record my videos is here 
my lights two lights here and this, <laughs> oh my god this ring light as you can see it's not a ring light anymore it's um <laughs> it's for my clothes yeah our suitcases they still have a lot of clothes inside and outside <laughs> and also here there's more clothes like really i'm very very messy we have these to keep some stuff in but um, it is completely full well not completely but still pretty full uh there is a bathroom here and we have this also to keep our stuff but of course there are so many things already inside and yeah more clothes and our bed is also having some stuff i am trying to make this area workable for me but first off the painting of the room was uh, not that good there was a lot of stains and stuff so i painted just one wall because i haven't had the time to paint the whole room as you can see here we still need to paint everything i am starting to develop the backdrop i bought this one in thailand uh, it's very nice i like it a lot and it helps with the sound i'm using this chair very old chair but it is enough for me and well my desk is such a mess like my hair dryer is here and it is not that i am an alcoholic i'm just using the sri lankan method of drinking water <laughs> uh, using a bottle of whiskey to to drink water one of the most important things that i have in my desk right now is this beautiful cup i bought in thailand you know that i love big mugs i think you have seen how big my bottles and mugs are and i decided to invest in actually a very nice one so before living in thailand i was looking for mugs and cups everywhere to br bring as a souvenir for myself like a christmas gift for myself it is handmade and it has a traditional design from thailand and also it has real gold guys i think it's the perfect souvenir and it's something that I'm going to use every day and a lot but at the same time if, if it breaks oh, it's going to be a problem so okay this is my desk space and I'm building my backdrop I bought this in Daraz this in Daraz I think it's very pretty um, and it's going to go in the wall along with this and for the sound I bought this soundproof panels that I'm going to put here the moment we finish painting the room and of course one of the main things that helps me out a lot because you know that most of my videos like are kind of blue I bought uh, these RGB, RGB LED lights like a strip of light that changes color so that one I bought in Thailand it is very hard to break because there are some that you can stick in the wall and they break very easily and you can use them once and then you cannot move with them these ones are made for the pool so they are very sturdy like look so having a white wall is like a white canvas because i can put any color here and they're going to make it look like if the wall was that color so that will help me a lot so yeah that's basically our room i know i am a little bit messy and that's why i haven't been able to record any reactions now you understand and i think this is a very nice project to have to kind of arrange everything i have done it before and i really enjoy it like put all the lights and the backdrop and everything i don't know it's it's fun so maybe i could do a before and after hmm who knows so the house has a very nice garden with trees and plants and vegetables and flowers and in the garden you can also find the dogs. We have one, two, three, four, five, five dogs. So when people come to the house it is a little bit intimidating because these dogs are savage. <laughs> They can be very aggressive, but they are very nice towards us and they always want to be pet. 
they also have a cat and she is also a savage <laughs> like she can uh, attack the dogs even or mm, chase them around and she is a hunter so she's hunting all the time uh, but also likes cookies and milk she's not the most cuddly cat <laughs> not compared to baby but I have grown to love her a little bit even though she only approaches because she wants food she's like a gold digger I would say food digger <laughs> because we have vegetables in the house in the night we have visits from outside the other night I saw like a family of wild boars in the garden and they were so cute because they were they were a family and they had like five small boars and you could see the adults also it is the first time that I've seen a family of wild boars so it was quite impressive even though of course it's not the best to have because they destroy the whole garden and the dogs go crazy with them Sandra has told me that in previous years or sometimes the dogs actually attack them and it has been pretty bad one of the dogs actually has a lot of battle scars he is fighting other dogs and the wild boss and yeah i don't think the dogs in chile could match this alpha energy from these dogs and i am a little bit worried of bringing baby to the house because the cat i know she can destroy her and the dogs well it is very 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 much obvious that they can definitely destroy a baby i am hopeful though because the dogs actually like me they are very nice to me so maybe if they know that baby is mine they will be accepting of her that's what i really hope <laughs> so please send good energy to baby so she has a very good period of adaptation here I don't know if you can hear the growling, but the dogs are a little bit jealous of each other. So when you pet one, there's another male dog that doesn't like it and they start growling to each other. But overall, they're good dogs. I am definitely planning on uploading more of my experience here in Sri Lanka about our trips and about certain projects that I cannot tell you guys about yet but I think it will be fun for you to see. So if you want to follow my journey or see my reactions, I invite you to subscribe. Also like and comment on my videos. Remember every interaction you do with this video will be helping me a lot because that way the channel can grow and you can help me out like that. If you're watching this live during the premiere, thank you so much for being one of the first ones here. If you also want to be part of the live chat, because I'm almost always interacting with you guys there. You just have to activate the notifications on YouTube. That way YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. It's very easy. You will get a notification from YouTube. That's all for today. And I really hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.